What is going on YouTube? Forgive me for my absence. Um, I just really gotta get used to filming. It's not even getting used to it. I just have to really start just getting outside of my comfort zone and doing what I need to do, which is film. Now there's some moments where it's really difficult for me to film because I don't wanna be unfaithful to what the Lord has called me to do when it comes to serving. But there's other moments where I could film and I should and I should just um, finish what I started because there's there's, it's not like I haven't been filming at all, but it's that that um, I haven't really been finishing a lot of the vlogs, but pretty much I have a lot of free time right now. So I really wanted to get on the camera to share a vision that the Lord has given me um, a few months ago. The vision was very powerful. It was pretty vivid. And I think the Lord wants me to share it. It's definitely biblical and um, it, it should be a blessing to a lot of y'all. So one day, right? One day I was really having a tough time I got rebuked. The rebuke was well-deserved. So that day, the enemy was attacking me very hard, especially my flesh, because what was happening was I felt very uncomfortable. Now, during that time, the Lord, that's when the Lord showed me the vision. Because I'm, at this point, I, I, I got rebuked. I'm just like, man, I get rebuked a lot. I make a lot of mistakes. This, this, this. The enemy was attacking me. And then I close my eyes. And at this point, I'm crying because I'm just like, man, I, I, just, I keep making mistakes, right? That was the issue. I'm like, man, I keep making mistakes. I'm tired of saying dumb stuff. I'm tired of making dumb mistakes. And that was where I was thinking. And the Lord, while my eyes were closed, he was ministering to me and he was showing me a vision. Now in the vision, Jesus, right? I saw Jesus and he was glorified. He was in his glorified body. He was shining, right? But I wasn't glorified. I was in this flesh, right? I was in the flesh. And I was walking up to Jesus, sobbing on the ground, pretty much. I was like crawling. And I was carrying a cross on my back. And the cross was super heavy. It wasn't that big. That's the thing. That was that was the funny thing about it. It wasn't that big. So it was almost like I was exaggerating. It was almost like I was exaggerating a little bit. Because the cross was big. It was like medium. That's how big it was. Like a medium-sized cross. And I was carrying the cross. And I'm crawling on my on my um, hands and feet. And I'm saying to the Lord, Lord, I, I can't do this. I give up. I can't do this anymore, Jesus. I can't. I can't. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. So I'm carrying the cross and I'm saying this to Jesus that I, I can't do it anymore. Right? And I'm walking up to him. And the cross was so heavy. It was heavy, but I knew something deep, 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 deep down inside of my spirit and my heart. I knew for a fact. Okay, Quentin. From like the natural. Like, I'm in the vision, right? But from the point of view, how do I say this? I'm in the vision. I can see myself. But from the natural, I knew that I could hold that cross. I knew it. But in the vision, I was beat up. I was. I, I felt I just wanted to give up, right? And I'm saying this to uh, Jesus. And this is what Jesus does. He kneels down. He kneels down in front of me. And he says, he says, through my strength, you have been made strong. Vision's done right there. That's, that's, that's the vision. I'm crawling. The cross is extremely heavy. I'm going up to his feet. I'm begging him. I'm saying, I remember one of the questions that I asked him was, how did you do it? Because we all know that Jesus lived a perfect life on this earth. He didn't sin. So I said, how did you do it? That was like the first question I asked him. How did you do it? I go up, I'm crying, I'm complaining, I'm saying all this stuff. And he goes down before me. He kneels. He doesn't. Listen, y'all. This is the crazy part. All he says was this. Through my strength, you have been made strong. He doesn't help me up. He doesn't lift me up. None of that stuff. He delivers to me the word. The word of God. Because he is God, right? He's the word of God. So he says the word. Every word that comes from his mouth is the word of God. So he gives me the word of God. The word of God with which what he said to me. Through my strength. You have been made strong. We know that that's scripture. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me, right? For with God, nothing shall be impossible. So he says, through my strength, you have been made strong. So he gives me the word. Now, he didn't help me up because he gave me the strength to do that, do it. Does that make sense? So I had the strength in me because the Holy Spirit is within me. So what I ended up doing was, or oh, actually that's another part that, that's like, the, that's like another part of the vision that I got on a different day. It was another part of the vision I got on a different day. I'm probably going to make a separate video about it. But um, pretty much what ended up happening was this. 
is the, what I'm trying to say is we go through so much trials and tribulations and then we come to we go before the Lord's feet and we say that you know we can't do it or we act like it's very hard to do or something like that but the thing is God has given us the strength to overcome it because um we know I don't know the verse off the top of my head but first Corinthians 10 13 it says I'm going to paraphrase that God has not given you a temptation. He always makes a way for escape. Every temptation that he gives you, he always makes a way for escape. So the temptation for was for me to give up. And the cross was, it was heavy, but it was doable. That's something that I knew. It was doable. And he said, through my strength, you have been made strong. Right? Through the Holy Spirit, I have been made strong. So he, he didn't do for me what I was capable. How do I say this? He didn't do for me. He didn't just pick me up because with the Holy Spirit that he's given me, the strength of the Holy Spirit was well able to give me um, 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 was to give me the strength to get up. So the, the Holy Spirit himself was well able to give me the strength to get up. So all this to say is this, whatever trials or tribulations that you're going through, whatever cross that you're carrying, we are all well able to get through it because we all have the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that lives inside of us than he that is in the world. We all have the strength to overcome what the enemy is trying to do in our lives. We all have the strength to overcome our flesh. But the thing is, are we going to use the strength of the Holy Spirit to go and push, to push through so that we can get to the next level, right? Because we go from faith to faith, to glory to glory. Or are we just gonna sit down and act like we can't, act like we can't do it when God has given us the strength to do it? I know there's a lot of us that are um, out there that are really going through some tough times, right? But the thing is, God has given us so much, so much um, grace when it comes to everything that we go through. He got through it, so we can get through it. We have the same spirit. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead is the same spirit that is living within us right now. And we are well and able to do everything that the Lord is telling us to do. Well able to get through every trial, every tribulation, every temptation. Well and able. And if you mess up, confess your sin, repent, turn back to God, and keep moving forward. Don't give up. So if this if this video blessed you, uh, please like it. Please share it with a friend. Please subscribe to my channel. I don't have many subscribers right now, but I'm going to grow for sure. Please leave a comment. Um, Lord, do you want me to do an altar call? No. So this video is going to be a, a, a lot for the believers. I know a lot of believers are going to be watching this video. So I don't think he wants me to do an altar call on this video. But remember this video. Even if you guys are going through this, I hope this video really blessed some of y'all. But if y'all, a lot of Christians are going through a lot of stuff that's difficult. But even if you want to, this, this channel is meant to edify people, to help them, not to condemn them. You know what I'm saying? So we can get through it, y'all.